Hello and welcome to the Power BI or Die tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can use the DEX Queer View to perform mass editing of your measures in your Power BI semantic model. Here in the DEX Queer View, it has been around for a while and you can use it to debug some queries to yeah, just develop new DEX queries and debug your visuals. But the new thing, or relatively new thing, is that you can define all your measures or some of the measures in this DEX query view. Now, when I click it, I have all the measures of my data model in this query view. I can have a combined table here with all my measures. And I also can change them and update the measures from the DEX query view. So it has become like a professional editor for measures. And uh, for example, one use case would be if I replace some table and then lots of measures broke. Uh, for example, the date table is uh, way not perfect in this Contoso data model. It's uh, yeah not enough columns. I have no offsets and all the other fancy stuff. So I will use my corporate calendar instead. Then I go to Lake Houses and look out for my calendar in the Data Hub. And here it is. I can connect to the SQL endpoint. And here I have my calendar. I do not need to change anything, so I just load the calendar and I use the import mode, of course. And now my calendar is loaded and you can see lots of uh, columns, lots of useful columns. And now I need to fix my data model and to connect the new calendar. Therefore, I just show all the tables that are connected to the date table. It's just one, quite easy. And now I can connect my calendar and use the order date as my primary date. And I can use the delivery date for my secondary date. Now I've got the connection and I can delete my table that I had so far. Yeah, the model is fixed, but when I go to measures, go to report view, it's broken because some measures are broken because they have relied on the date table. Uh, and yeah, of course, I also need to mark my calendar as the date table, but this alone will not fix the problem because I need to fix all the measures. And when I look here, there are quite a few measures that relied on the calendar table. And of course I can look at uh, them and I can fix it manually, but we can do much better with the DEX query view because I have all my measures here. I just need to mark my date column and to replace it replaced by calendar datum, it's a German date, and then I replace all the measures at once, and I do not need to care about other logics, I just update my model. And when I go back to report view, there's no error. And when I choose a year, actually then there will be also some logical values here. For example, I use the plain filtering in 2019 and then you see, okay, we have some values here. Everything's working again with just a few clicks and a replace. We can mess editing our measures. And one other great thing about it, you can also use it to copy paste uh, this code into the web and then change your data models in the web. For example, when I have here. Here I have the same data model and uh, it's also broken, of course. And there might be a reason to change things directly in the web. For example, when you have a direct lake model or you use a Mac or yeah, any other reasons you don't have access to the Power BI desktop file. And to change the measures here, I also need to go to semantic model. There I can check that my measures are broken as expected. When I go here, 
obviously I have some issues with the date because I changed my table and to fix it I need to go to the query view it's also available in the web now and I could do the same stuff as I did as I have shown locally but I also can just make a mass copy and yeah copy everything and just paste it here and it's enough to update my measures now I just update my measures here and everything's fixed so in this way you can change your measures in the web and you can also do mass editing you can format the measures of course there are other tools around you could use you could use you could use a tabular editor for this you could use the developer mode with the code and change the code you could use the semantic link labs but uh, these are either external tools or you need certain privileges like the XMLA API and in, in some cases you just don't have access to such tools and here this is a standard function of Power BI everyone can use so this is the best way I think to perform some mass editing in measures when you migrate some reports or change out tables. I hope the tutorial was useful for you. Just comment if you have any suggestions and also suggest which tutorial should I do next. And don't forget to subscribe to the Power BI or Die channel because we will publish more tutorials soon. See you.